lectures. Uh, in today's lecture, we will discuss about the nuclear reactions. I'm Dr. Pervez Ahmad. So, uh, what is the nuclear reactions? Uh, so, let's have a formal definition for uh, the nuclear reactions. So, a nuclear reaction is the process in which two uh, nuclei or nuclear particles collide and produces uh, different products. I mean, uh, first of all, for any nuclear reactions, we should have a two nuclei. Uh, and those two nuclei are met to react, uh, are, are, are two particles that are met to react, uh, and as a result of that reactions, uh, uh, we have to produce uh, different products. So this is somehow a formal definition for uh, a nuclear uh, reactions. So uh, what is basically the uh, mean by uh, the, uh, I mean the different product are the outcome of nuclear reactions. So. Uh, we remember that whenever a nuclear reactions occur, uh, so as a result of that uh, nuclear reactions, uh, uh, we have some outcome. Uh, the outcome of a nuclear reactions uh, basically uh, depends upon on the natures of the interacting particles and uh, their energy. I mean, as as, as we mentioned here, uh, I mean, and the definitions that a nuclear uh, reaction is basically a process in which two nuclei or nuclear particles collide and produce different products. So here's a be remembers that the output of any nuclear reactions it depend upon the two uh, main thing that is uh, I mean the nature of the interacting particles and uh, uh, their energy. So whenever you're trying to design a nuclear reactions or when you're trying to do a nuclear reactions so you should keep in mind that uh, I mean you should you should have a clear look on the uh, interacting the nature of the interacting particles and uh, their energy. Um, so uh, what actually we have by 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 by, by saying that uh, the energy uh, means uh, uh, because at high energies uh, you know that a violent collision can take place and that could result in uh, many outgoing particles. And a lot of energies, I mean, if we have the particles or we have the nuclei and those two nuclei, uh, if they have low energy, so at low energy, they are generally only two final products. So such a reaction is called binary reactions uh, and it's the type we will discuss mainly here in this uh, lecture. I mean, here in this, uh, in this lecture, we will uh, mainly talk about the binary uh, nuclear reactions. So just like you can see it here in the figure, I mean, it's the typical descri uh, descriptions of a nuclear uh, reactions. I mean, in the graph, you can have it. Uh, that is, uh, first of all, what we will have, uh, just like you can see it here in this particular figure, uh, that is, uh, uh, we, we are saying that a nuclear reaction is, uh, is said to occur when an incident particle, uh, I mean, here we say it's an incident particles, uh, which here, this particular case is a protons. And in this uh, particular reactions that we have shown, we have written it. Uh, I mean, here, here the X represents uh, uh, I mean, the incident particles, which is here uh, the proton. And we, we are saying that this incident particle that is a proton, it is made to hit the target nucleus. I mean, this is the target nucleus. So what happens when this uh, protons are the incident particles that hit the target nucleus? So as a result of that uh, interaction, it produces a compound nucleus. I mean, like the one you can see it here. I mean, this incident particle, uh, it interacts with this target nucleus. And as a result of this interaction, a compound nucleus uh, is produced in a state of excitation. I mean, you can see it here. You see steric is basically mean that the compound nucleus is being produced in a state of excitation. So along with that, you can see it here's uh, other particles along with that some radiations. So a particle, uh, I mean uh, these particles and the radiations that are being mentioned in these reactions. So the Y here means uh, a particle, uh, uh, I mean they say that uh, whenever nuclear reactions occur, uh, so a particle Y is then emitted. I mean here which you can see it here. Uh, it's a particle Y. Uh, leaving a residual nucleus i mean uh, this is a residual nucleus r uh, which can either be unstable or radioactive and some isomeric states uh, the other term 
uh, the Q accounts for the amount of energy release are absorbed uh, during the reaction. So it's basically a short, uh, uh, I mean, it's a sketch for a nuclear reactions. I mean, how the nuclear reactions occur and how we can represent uh, a nuclear reactions. So, uh, I mean, uh, after that, uh, once a nuclear reaction occurs, so uh, the necessary process for that nuclear reaction is to that how we characterize uh, we uh, how we characterize those nuclear reactions. So, uh, characterization of nuclear reactions uh, according to the bombarding particles, uh, bombarding energy, uh, target, uh, reaction product, and reaction mechanism. I mean, these are uh, some of the key factors according to which we can characterize uh, any nuclear reactions. I mean, uh, whenever we want to characterize a nuclear reaction, so we have to keep about uh, these kind of parameters. Uh, that is, we have to characterize according to the bombardic particles, uh, the bombardic energy, uh, target reaction product, and uh, reactions mechanism. Uh, Let's first talk about uh, the first parameter that, that we call the bombarding particles. So, uh, the bombarding particles can be the charged particles. I mean, uh, when the reactions, uh, the nuclear reactions occur by, uh, by the charged particle. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, we can show it like this. I mean, uh, the, the projectile or the particle which we met to collide in the target uh, is uh, here in this particular reaction is a proton. And the particle which is being produced uh, when, once the reactions occur uh, is a neutron. So here is shown on the on the lab. And similarly, here uh, we can say that uh, the particle is a proton. Uh, the particle is alpha particle. I mean, the projectile particle is alpha particles. So here is placed on the lab, and the resulting particles. I mean, after nuclear reactions occur, and the, the particle which being emitted as a final product is gamma particle. So it's been placed. Uh, it's been written here on the uh, of the right hand side so uh, and we call such a kind of reaction we call heavy ion uh, reactions um, similarly we have neutron reactions and neutron reactions uh, uh, we basically have the projectile nucleus as a uh, as a neutron I mean uh, uh, if we have if you have any slight idea from the first reaction that charged particle reaction that is charged particle mainly we have protons or alpha particles so as a result of that nuclear reaction, we can have neutrons and we can have gamma rays. And we say that such a particles, uh, I mean the example of such a particle as have ion reactions. So neutron reactions are basically those reactions and which we use a neutron as a projectile. And like you can see it in these two nuclear reactions. Yeah, I mean these neutrons and both these uh, reactions, neutrons are being utilized as a projectile. And as a result, I mean when the nuclear reactions occur, so finally, uh, gamma rays and protons are being uh, emitted. The, ter the third part is the uh, photonuclear reactions. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's the nuclear reactions and which we photons are using as a bombarding particles. Uh, well, sorry, photons are being utilized uh, as a bombarding particles. And as a result of that uh, interaction, as a result of that nuclear reactions, we can have neutrons and uh, protons and the final uh, product. Similarly, we can have electrons uh, induce uh, interaction as well. So, uh, if we characterize the nuclear reactions uh, with respect to uh, uh, the bombarding, uh, the energy of the bombarding particle, so uh, how we can do that? We can have uh, low energy charged particles uh, interactions, uh, we can have high energy charged particles, we can have energetic neutrons. And energetic neutrons uh, can be uh, thermals, epithermals, uh, slow and fast. So that, that is basically when you uh, try to characterize, uh, I mean, the nuclear reactions uh, according to the bombarding, uh, bombarding energy. So we have mainly uh, these three kind of reactions. So if you want to characterize the nuclear, uh, nuclear reactions according to uh, the target, so based on the targets, uh, uh, that is, uh, we can utilize lighter nuclei, and those lighter nuclei they can have a weight uh, that is uh, smaller than uh, 40 mu. Uh, similarly, uh, we can utilize as a target uh, a medium weight nuclei, uh, which can have an atomic mass uh, between 40 and 150 mu. 
uh, and similarly we can utilize heavy nuclei that is with atomic number greater than uh, 150. Uh, if we want to characterize uh, the nuclear reactions uh, according to the reaction product, so how it can be. Uh, so uh, uh, as a result of that kind of reactions, uh, uh, we can have the scattering, uh, scattering reactions uh, that can be the scattering can be elastic scattering. I mean, we can uh, here we can have the example of uh, like this particular reactions. Uh, there is a uh, nitrogen protein. We bombard a nitrogen protein with a proton, and as a result of that. Uh, interactions uh, are as a result of that reaction when it happens so it's also producing the uh, the protons and along with that uh, nitrogen proteins it's an elastic state so when we saying that uh, the scattering is analastic so again uh, we say that uh, we have a carbon uh, nitrogen protein but that nitrogen protein should be in the uh, excited state uh, similarly, we can say that uh, the reactions can be, I mean, the reaction product, it can uh, be a uh, radioactive captures. Uh, we can have fission and fusions. Uh, we can have spallations. Uh, I mean, so all of these reactions we can later on discuss in full details. Uh, reactions mechanism, the reaction mechanism can be, uh, it can be a direct reactions. It can, uh, I mean, make a compound uh, nucleus uh, reactions. Uh, uh, more in what to follow. Uh, I mean, so we can have many more to say, or we can we can discover many more. Uh, so, oh, but here uh, one always have a question in mind that what is a transfer reaction? Is I mean, is also uh, the possibility. I mean, whenever nuclear reactions happen, so there is many more things to occur. So, I mean, it's all the thing to discuss here in one lecture is not possible. So some of the nomenclatures are being related with the nuclear reactions. Whenever we 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 are saying that. Uh, uh, we having a binary reaction and which a particle is incident or a target nucleus and leading to a final product I mean uh, we say a target a target nucleus and we represent the target nucleus by capital letters uh, a and we're saying that this reaction is leading to a final product B uh, and uh, B capital B smaller B and capital B so the reactions may be represented as that is capital A plus small a uh, that tend to a capital B plus smaller B uh, we can write this reaction as a and to a comma B and to uh, capital B I mean this is a form that is this is the nomenclature for a nuclear reaction that is how you write a nuclear reactions that is uh, you you have a target nucleus that you represent by capital letter a and you trying to hit that nucleus with a projectile or with the accident particle so that we is represent by a smaller particle with a smaller English alphabet uh, that is A and that reaction tend to uh, the final products or the final product we represent by the English alphabet uh, capital B and the smaller data nuclei uh, that we represent by a uh, smaller B so about uh, in short that that reaction can we can write in this form uh, as well uh, so what we have here on the left hand side that is a uh, capital A plus small a this is basically called the initials or the entrance channel and the B plus small b is called the final or the exit channel I mean this is how uh, uh, I mean so we have the nomenclature for a nuclear reaction a binary nuclear reactions to occur so when binary nuclear reactions occur so we can have uh, this kind of nomenclature for a binary nuclear uh, reactions so this is all for this lecture uh, see you with the next lecture uh, uh, very soon till then bye